In order to capture the efforts of Australia's bull catchers, the Outback Ringer film crew must cover huge distances across some of the most remote places on Earth. Snap the sway bar underneath the production vehicle. It's basically this steel rod here. Keeps it handling well. We were trying to keep up some of the bull catchers the other day. And uh, yeah, it's become a cropper. Over eight weeks of filming, producer Tommy Lawrence drove around 30,000 kilometers. Battling the rugged roads of the outback caused constant car problems and turned Tommy into a handy bush mechanic. It's, it gets a bit dangerous to sort of travel too big a distance off-road without that, without this on there. So we want to try and get another one of these before we head out to Robinson River again. Lucky for us, there's no shortage of old turtle land cruisers spread around the outback. We found a, um, an old 80 up here with the sway bar still attached. And the good news is it's upside down, so we don't have to climb on our back and get under it. So the sway bar, what it does is it helps keep the car from rolling from side to side. It's pretty dangerous, so this piece of steel is actually um, keeping us on the straight and narrow. So we got new rubbers in the old bar. Put them in. The sway bar will get the crew back on the road, but there is a creature comfort that Tommy's been desperate for and finally, he's found the part he needs. This is the bearing that blew out from our air conditioning compressor. We have found a whole pulley instead of just a bearing to replace it with. So we're gonna hopefully bang this in and um, have some air conditioning. Okay, moment of truth. Will we get any air con? Mm. We still have a problem. We've got a sway bar. We're we riding safely, but a little bit uncomfortably. <laughs> That's all right. At least we get to Robinson River. It'll be a long, hot drive for the next 490 kilometers, but at least Tommy and his crew will arrive safely. <laughs> <laughs>